Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm creating this introduction video because I recently had a Dance Moms reaction blocked on YouTube. I'm going to be cutting down the overlay a little bit more. The videos might be shorter or the reaction videos might be shorter. There might be a little bit of obstruction on the visual and the audio as well. So I just wanted to prepare people for that. If you've enjoyed or watched or seen my Dance Moms reactions up to this point, they will be a little different. I'll try and give you a good reaction video regardless. I do have full commentary videos available for warm-up tier members on my Patreon. Other than that, this is what we're going to be working with, so I hope it's still good. Thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna. If you're returning, welcome back. Tonight I will be reacting to season one of Dance Moms A New Era, episode four, Add Insult to Injury. From the preview, it looks like Dominica and Roxy get in a fight and there's physical contact. I think someone slaps someone else. There's a new dancer coming in. One or two or more of the dancers are upset. It's like, what does that mean? What have I done to deserve that? I'm anxious already. Saw a little clip of one of those things where it's like you put on, what is it? <laughs> the glow in the dark paint or costumes or neon something. I remember that used to be a huge thing in late 80s, early 90s for all my dance recital tapes, whenever it would get to any part, like it could just be the gloves or it could just be a hat or a bow tie, but the lights go out and everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious about that dance. Let's just get into it. Let's react to episode four from Dance Moms, A New Era. I feel bad for not having any faith in the team. I honestly couldn't watch it well, so I couldn't judge what was going on. I mean, clearly they did a really great job. I think I heard someone comment, I heard someone comment. I saw someone comment on another video that they had a clean sweep that week. This is, this is not enough time. Oh my, oh my, the phone's ringing again. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, this girl, I know she gets stressed and she cries and stuff, but she, I mean, she really does have star quality, you know? Star quality is good behavior, but she has the personality to stand out, shine. I don't know about Audrey, right? Like, but mm -hmm. don't let that overshadow what the kids just did for you. Mm -hmm. That Audrey lives with glow. What? Wait. We're not allowed to talk about it. What other parts of the house can we see glow's area? So this is on me for not paying attention or talking over stuff. I totally missed, if it's been mentioned up to this point, that glow lives with Tammy and Audrey. I mean, the favoritism, even without knowing that, is a bummer, but I'm like, what? I mean, sometimes it does happen. You're related, you know, you're friends with this person, you're close. This is already, <laughs> I'm already nervous. To treat her like her own child. I think that that's where we need to see a little bit more professionalism. Yeah, yeah that's it, maybe. So no crutches or anything. Something can hurt bad and you could get anxious about it and it can turn out to be nothing. Thank you for um, prying into our medical information. Whoa. We're genuinely concerned. We were just asking, like, of course. You don't get to dance this week. And I understand it makes you sad, but right now, I need you to be well. Sure of the team. If we don't have Audrey, I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, uh. The bottom. Uh, it's messy. We have. Beltrix. What? Top three. If she had known it and practiced it when she went out on stage, she would have been. So maybe it was an understudy role. Not the very bottom. In Music Man on Broadway. Like 10. 10 it's parts. It's so different. I beat them songs. Watch your mouth no, around so the children. What? Roxy, no. you will not stand in this room no. and speak those words to these. Well, you just did it was wrong. What? Not the bottom bottom when she stepped in like that. Doesn't matter how well she did. Bottom row, you gave me great fierce face this week, but fierce face isn't enough emotion. The emotion has to come from your whole body. That is true. Last I mean, I don't know how she did. I'm just, it's a true statement to make. Minute of a break. <laughs> oh my God. Of course, when she's gonna be using me. That's insane that she said that. <laughs> I'm working to get better. And on the second row, Audrey. What? You were great leader all week. The technique that you showed was incredible. 
So Audrey didn't even dance and you're putting her in front of Ashlyn? Yep. That's weird. I don't, we didn't see everything that happened in rehearsal either, but she was struggling in rehearsal. She didn't have a superb week based off of what we saw. Lily, your technique is slowly starting to improve. Just keep working hard. Hmm, and I like that part, the, the pirouette. Top the pyramid, Mina. For eight years old, I can't tell you how incredibly talented. It's good to give her credit, but Bellatrix should have been higher. That's insane. I think Mina can do better on the stage. Oh. Show will be a fun musical theater inspired by yes. Cats, the musical, Claws, Leg Warmers. The second trio will be a weird modern contemporary trio. It's called Bound Together. Whole new beast. Trios are really hard to hide formation issues, and if you're off time, really okay. Stop. It's I don't understand Audrey's placement on the pyramid. That's kind of crazy. I don't understand Mina's either. She's awesome and yeah, give her credit, but at the very, very top, Bellatrix had an, let's say she had an understudy role because that I'm assuming based off of what we've heard from this episode in the previous one, that that's the situation. It's still an understudy role. Yes, it is your job to be prepared 100%. It's not fair, depending on how much time that person had to actually run through that track, not just learn it off to the side and it's like, okay, yeah, I know it and do it for the first time when you're performing. Like there are those situations, there are people who get to practice and run through it, but they don't get to do it obviously nearly as often as the person who's actually cast in that role. She filled in. She didn't whine, she didn't cry, she didn't freak out and run off the stage at, and they won first place and she was leading the dance. It makes absolutely no sense. She's placed where she is. Roxy had every, yes, she should keep, you know, try and do her best to keep calm around the, around the kids, don't swear and stuff. The outburst was justified. Trios, you know, it's, Interesting, I have the opposite view on trios. I think it's, depending on what you're doing, I guess, but I think trios, it's easier to hide when you're wrong. Say, especially, what if you're all supposed to put out your left arm? One person puts out their right. Depending on the formation, like it doesn't look wrong usually, or if someone does the move to the left versus the right, unless they're all like tightly together going this way and that way, I think it's easy to get away with stuff like that. You're on the wrong foot, you turn the wrong way, you do a step too early, and then you join and you get back together. It, it looks, you can trick the audience easily into thinking it's a part of the choreography. I love trios so much. I feel like there's so much possibility and there's a lot of flexibility if something goes wrong on stage. Again, it's different for every single dance piece, but I think it's fun being in a trio, honestly. It's fun choreographing a trio. Maybe it's different being in one. I haven't been in one for a while. You're off timing. It's really obvious because you don't have a group to hide behind. But not everything in a trio has to be unison 100% of the time. It looks like it's a part of the choreography and you had a feature for the third person and the two, and then you join back. I think it's easier to cover mistakes and get away with stuff if you're in a trio. Oh, factor, that's a good one. You guys ever seen Voguing? Do you know what Voguing mm. is? Yeah. That is serving. I said, you are a trophy wife. I've no. heard it from your lips. I am young, I am hip, and I am a trophy. <laughs> Belong of the season. Put the money that you're buying on social media for more TV I don't, classes. I don't get put you money on social media. Okay. Oh, that touched a nerve. Hmm. This looks fun. Tammy texted saying, Hi, we are not going to return due to a family emergency. I'm unsure about to. Uh. Other students at the studio who would love to have made this team and some who were really close. A family emergency is a family emergency though. That person didn't do it on purpose. It's like they didn't have a family emergency because they're unreliable. It's a family emergency. Mm, the physical contact, geez. I don't even really know the specifics. I just know that right now we're down frankly, our strongest dancer. She wasn't going to be in the piece anyway because of her injury, right? That glows in the dark about Tammy and Audrey's family emergency. All signs are pointing to Audrey's foot being fine. Mm. Mm. Now make sure your foot out. I'm excited to see this. Stop. If I had to pick right now, you know what I'd pick? A whole new group of dancers. That's harsh. 
She's definitely taking the Audrey Tammy situation out on the girls. You've been really quiet about it. I don't know what's going on. Tammy is one of your best friends. That's so your like, best friend. Her phone is off. She's not really responsive. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that the team can win without us? I do think we're a little bit doomed if she's not. I musical theater. Everything is like big and over the top <laughs> in musical theater. I love cats. <laughs> Trios are difficult because it's really, really very obvious when it's off. Anything that's all group unison, it's obvious if something's off, if like there's a hiccup or someone's rushing. But I'm in disagreement with that, I guess. You know what pas de chat means? I've never heard of it. It literally means the jump of a cat. You know how like if you scared a cat, it would be like eek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> Oh, fun. Can I go talk to Chloe about Tammy? Not right now. I was gonna say. Wait, is she actually going in there now? No, not when they're working. Please. I need to talk to Chloe. Quick question. They have the trio. I told you what I knew as of this morning. That's all I know. What are you talking to go about? I just wanted to ask like a no. quick. No, when, when Miss Glow is in break, you can you can tell Miss Glow after Miss Glow fin. Mm -hmm. They only have one half day left, and the choreography is not finished yet. It does look bad that she went in for not her daughter's trio, or not, she didn't go in, I don't know. Rossi was interrupting the whole pyramid. You don't it's pyramid. This is dance rehearsal. Go get her, then go get her, man. Go get her. Don't go get her. 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 That's insane. No, please don't interrupt the rehearsal. If you hear the music still going, don't even don't step in until you hear it go out and then peek in. I hope most teachers, choreographers know they can go back. Like, Not now, go away. <laughs> no, I'm excited for the Cats trio though. Into all the groups and I had more followers on Instagram and all this petty ass <laughs> she couldn't handle. This about Audrey and Tammy because Dominica knows without Audrey, Smiley's gonna be invisible. Hmm. Could you show me now how to walk that this part? You see? Hmm? <laughs> 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 your hip is <laughs> That's meddling a little too much. I mean, it looked like she was sharper on the timing after Ashlyn helped because Min asked her to, but Min's not in charge. You know, and Audrey to hide a lot of flaws in other people. So without Audrey, it's really apparent that there are holes in this team. It's hard to watch all of this knowing that Glow didn't have faith in the remaining team members. Sans Audrey, from the get-go, she's anticipating mistakes and stuff. Definitely interesting, but I don't know if it will make the dance look too clean. I don't know how we're going to be able to pull that off. Hmm. Oh, my hair. Okay, we're good. Oh, God. Is this a pantyhose dance? Team pantyhose. After Saturday, you can call them team winner. Impossible. Oh. Uh -huh. Stay strong, Lily. Now get her out of it. I think the Bound Together trio can totally beat the Cats trio. Can they get a bigger piece? I hope this is like being shot in a way where it looks like they're struggling more than they actually are. It's a much bigger challenge than the other dance. I am curious about the technique that's going to shine through this piece. All stress out on us because she thinks that the team isn't going to do good without Audrey and she's punishing all of us. And she's literally breaking their spirit. Mm hmm Here we go. And they didn't know about this either, I'm guessing. <laughs> Jing doing here. Hmm. Technical dancer and so graceful. I was so close to choosing her for the team originally, but at the audition, she choked. Gina, stop by the studio today. Might just light a fire under these girls' butts because God knows they need it. But she could be a potential replacement. Or addition, right? That was it. That was so unnecessary. No, no. I mean, no, no, no. okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, we all knew from the previous episode this was going to fucking happen. Glow has that power and she's in a position where she, yeah, she can add team members or replace them if she wants to, but to do it like this, 
I mean, that's, that's not what happened, but like to bring her in just to say that, unless there is a lot of conversation cut out, but even so, that's worse because it's taking up rehearsal time. That's effed up. That's something that could have been done with a phone call. If she wasn't going to stay there to like observe or some, or understudy, because they just left right away, right? So pointless. Let's uh, light a fire under their booties. Let's push them and bring in the star person to make them feel like they need to work hard. It's like you can, there's so many ways to get people to be inspired to work harder than doing shit like this. It's just weird. This is all so bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, this time Ashlyn's crying and it's justified. Oh my gosh. This fight between Dominica and Roxy is crazy. It's like, Dominica seems like someone who's so into herself, and I'm not gonna claim that I'm not into myself. I like attention. I love it when someone likes my video or sees my picture on Instagram, but it's like, Something's up with the social media part of her life. She's a little too into it or she takes it too personally. She thinks everyone's jealous of her. At, I mean, she seems genuinely upset. So I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of unnecessary, you know, edginess coming from, edginess, I don't, that's not the right word, but aggressiveness from one side versus the other. I mean, seeing that the reason that altercation earlier happened, it was going to be a fight between them at some point anyway, but Roxy was being protective of men. New York dance experience. They meet them there. But as soon as Gina pays a quick visit to the studio, they show up to the competition like nothing even happened. I've been dealing with something very personal. I have had very little conversation with Glow. Well, it's impacting her, just so you know. It is literally impacting the I, whole team. I that people genuinely do like me people and that I'm not a person like, like you are. Who's up the <laughs> Okay, that violent... Uh. Roxy, your behavior this week has been reprehensible. You were so loud, overbearing, obnoxious. Oh my kid. That routine last week would have looked a hell of a lot better if Audrey had been in it. That's messed up. Do you want it is fucking messed up. I'm team Roxy. Maybe I'm not seeing everyone else's side of it. It's just, this is insane. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're limited in five minutes. Can I wear that pink costume? <laughs> they said that I was clear to dance. What? It affects the entire team. But right now in this moment, I want to do what makes me happy. And dance makes me happy and I want to dance. But I need to know. It's a competition though. There were rehearsals, you weren't there. What the fuck is going on? You can't just say, oh, I want to dance today. Like, has this girl ever heard no before? If she was really injured. It's glow and Audrey, okay. like, we're all going on She's stage. not even in the room. There's drama going on again with Audrey. And mm -hmm. so you live with Audrey. Go home and do that. This is a dressing room. Focus on the girls that are here. I mean, I get it. When you make up your own Cats musical costume, it's when you don't have the touring company, Broadway company team behind you. It's Some people do an impressive job, but if it's just getting it for a, a competition, a recital, uh, wigs are the hardest part. And then the tails. <laughs> oh, I wonder, were they... Well, no, these are stiffer tails. I was thinking of the classic ones that where they used rope. The Broadway company and the revival company used rope in place of tails because of the weight. Oh, cute. Too bad about the lighting and the space. If Layla and Bellatrix were wearing not those colors because they kind of disappear. It's good that you can see their faces, but still. <laughs> mm. I think it's doing up to me. Me personally, I think it's doing up to me. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I totally mixed up two of the cats. Obviously a little bit nervous because we're dancing inside a sack for half of our dance. Mmm. This reminds me of Dan's composition in college. I was there a little bit of a stumble there? There's no
Aww. I don't like how they cut away, so we didn't see how she got out of there. Hmm. That drop down to the floor was maybe supposed to be like that. Hmm. It's too bad the stage isn't better lit. Or maybe it's there's more light than we can tell from the way it's being filmed. You all need to, I know that's a thing, but it's like, can you guys be quiet when your kids dance? <laughs> Tell them how good they were afterwards. Serving. <laughs> Clearly, Glow has a favorite trio and it's not ours. Whatever, our trio is awesome. From all three of you, it's what I've been asking for all week. My kitty cats, not as good news. <laughs> mm. Lots of makeup and stuff. I mean, especially for the Cats trio. Switching from that to this, teasing the hair. That's a lot. Really good experience and cool lesson for them if they go into musical theater, ensemble tracks, swing tracks, understudy tracks, whatever. Like, that's the ensemble life. Rush into change into your third character <laughs> costume. <laughs> mm. It's rough pairing the critique, knowing that it, it's likely not based on the encore performances that we're watching, because there were some stumbly bits, though it did look more advanced and technically more difficult for, I'll just call it right now, Ashlyn's trio. I know I said you could get away with stuff being off, but in that case, I was wrong. You could tell when things weren't as together as they were supposed to be, so never mind. <laughs> High voltage. Oh, the whole dance is, mm. At least they're painted enough where you can see enough to judge, I guess. Maybe this is something that would get the judges excited and they can see more than I can right now. Mm -hmm. They're doing a great job in this one matching each other's energy. Like, no one stands out in a bad, distracting way, like they don't match. They each have personality, and you feel like they're allowed to dance as them, but they're so together. I thought that was pretty good. I just don't know what the judges are seeing. Like, when something like this comes on stage, it's like, okay, uh, I think they're in sync here. It looks like they are. I wish I could see all of their leg. I can see part of their leg. I don't know what they can see. That they can stand on their own without Audrey. I think the Bound Trio managed to do just that. I. 1103 Bound together, Lily, uh, Smiley, and Ashley from Sue. I mean, they had a challenge. Like, when. Based on what makes Glow said, I thought we would place higher. I don't think she's gonna be proud either. Based on what Glow said. Uh. Zero two, here, kitty, kitty. It was just cleaner. It was stronger looking. I don't know about the different categories, the levels of dance. That's all yeah, I second about. is obviously better than the fourth. All right, our top ten a junior group. They beat them by two places, so. Breathe underwater, synergy dance center. Ooh, breathe underwater. Want to see that dance? So a win without Audrey would be everything. In third place, scored eleven oh one high voltage. That studio blue. It's just because of what the dance was. Like, I loved it, but it's because it's because of the glow in the dark thing. It's harder to see the technique, I think. I let Miss Glow down this week. So did we I. all did. We all did. Uh, Both trios did. Top five, you guys were amazing. We got in a higher score because we did really well and we worked really, really hard. You do your best that you've ever done. The competition is still out there. It's nothing personal. It's hard to be in this industry because they are a part of the industry if they're training like this, competing, if they're living, you know, this life. And Gina will also be dancing next week. Mm-hmm. No one's being replaced in addition to. Team member is not gonna make anything better. Miss Glow should worry about the people that she has. Gina auditioned, but she didn't make it. She loves every single one of you children. I think that's easy for you to say when you've never been threatened. Ooh, 
the costumes for this next one, you could be at the top of your game. If someone outshines you still, that doesn't mean or shouldn't take away from what you did and the work you put into your craft. It's really hard when there's so many people out there who want the same thing you do. It's like there's only one person who could win first place at this competition, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I wasn't surprised that the Cats trio beat the modern dance. Oh my gosh. With that type of a prop, I don't think whatever amount of time they had would have been enough to really do justice to whatever they were trying to showcase to the judges and the audience. I'm not bummed out by the idea of an additional team member because I'm not on the team, so I wouldn't feel like I was being, like someone was trying to scare me into doing a good job. Maybe Roxy was out of line, by the way, for taking it to the level she did, using the words she did. Not really, in my opinion. I agree, she should, she probably doesn't feel good that she got to that place around the kids. But I would be so fucking offended. Bellatrix should not have been on the bottom of the pyramid. That's insane. It doesn't matter how well she did. They won first place. Like, what the hell? I, I'm still not comprehending that that's what happened unless the producers like scripted a part of this or something. The group dance, I thought they did well without Audrey. That doesn't mean it's like, oh, we don't need, I, I mean, they don't, but they're gonna look good too with Audrey. It's not, again, don't take shit like that personally. She just wasn't there. And it's not like they had to re-block anything. She wasn't there from the start or she wasn't in the dance from the start. They created a strong piece together. They made it work. I liked it. I really liked it. I don't know what it would be like to judge a group dance like that. If you're from the competition dance world, have you ever seen a piece done like that where it was all neon? I know that's kind of a thing now in entertainment, but for a competition dance setting, maybe giving them experience, but how do you judge all the technical bits you have to when that's what you're seeing. Thank you again for your patience with the gaps between uploads. I have lots going on out there. and But I will try and stay on track and not stop, no matter what. I will not stop reacting to the show until I am done with the season. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel to watch this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, sleep time, read time, rehearsal time, dance class time. If you like the video, leave a like. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.